This is my old gaming PC I built a few years back that's starting to become really slow. So I let ChatGBT optimize my gaming PC to get a thousand FPS. Okay, so this right here is the PC I'm gonna be letting ChatGBT fully optimize. And the reason I chose this gaming PC right over here is because I built this PC two years ago and it used to actually run a pretty consistent 600 FPS. But you guys can definitely tell this PC is is starting to show signs of old age not only because this pc is just really really dirty but this pc is just starting to slow down drastically since i use this thing literally every single day for both fortnite and also video editing but the specs are definitely not that bad inside it has an rtx 4080 gpu and then for the cpu it has an i7 14700f and i'm only going to be using chat gbt's optimizations to fully optimize this thing to see if we can go back to having around 800 fps which is what it used to get okay so taking a look at the max fps this pc could get before even resetting this pc you guys can see we're actually getting about like 250 to 300 or so fps which is definitely still pretty good for this pc but it's just like pretty inconsistent as you guys can see it drops down to around like 240 to 60 or so originally when i first built this pc this thing literally ran close to 800 fps so yeah it's time for me to finally reset this thing and then use Use chat GBT to optimize and see how good this thing can actually get. Okay, so first we're just gonna go ahead and ask chat GBT for the most basic FPS boost. To optimize my fresh gaming PC in under one minute. And they should just give us like a bunch of window settings, all those type of stuff, just to start by optimizing our PC. So let's go ahead and ask chat GBT that. Yeah, you guys can see the first thing they're actually telling us to do is just set the power plan to max performance, enabling game mode, disabling startup bloat. So in total, should just take 60 seconds so let's go ahead and just quickly do that you guys can see that chat told us to use ultimate performance for the power plan which i will go ahead and use right over here next thing is enabling game mode so let's go ahead and just enable that since it optimizes your pc basically whenever you're playing any games next up is installing the latest nvidia drivers okay so taking a look inside of the nvidia drivers you guys can see since i factory reset this pc it doesn't have the most latest drivers which is this one right over here so i'm gonna go ahead and just download that and honestly just updating the drivers will definitely help with the performance from this pc the next thing is to deep bloat windows they say it is optional but they're telling us to use this thing right over here i'm not sure if i should trust chat gbt but let's go ahead and just press on that and they're basically telling you to actually just download this windows 11 optimizer which honestly i'm not going to do just because i don't know what's actually inside of this application so we're not going to trust chat gbt for this part and the next three aren't really too simple i'm going to go ahead and just do these afterwards but let's go ahead and ask chat gbt what are some fortnite fps boost tricks for for my gaming PC. And maybe they can give us some tweaks specifically for Fortnite. So let's go ahead and ask that. Boom, we have a ultimate Fortnite FPS boost, basically just giving us all like the best in-game settings. And afterwards we have Nvidia control panel tweaks, but we can go ahead and actually use background optimization, which is basically allowing us to disable stuff like Discord, Spotify, and Chrome, so they don't run in the background. And they're telling us actually to just use control shift escape. So let's go ahead and just press control shift escape basically opening up our task manager and i'm pretty sure they just want us to disable all like startup apps so i already have everything disabled besides this thing right over here i'm not sure what this is but yeah they just want us to basically disable all these things so it doesn't run in the background and then next up they're actually telling us to use either exit lag or no ping these are paid services but i can actually show you guys it really quickly since exit lag does help reduce your ping but it also has an fps boost section so not only does it help with your network but it also helps with like your performance and it's over here in in this section fps boost you guys can see there are a few tweaks over here that you guys can use but we can go ahead and just press high performance and it automatically just enables all the tweaks they recommend you to actually use so it's actually really really easy to actually enable so so exit lag is also a great application for you guys to actually boost your fps but moving on we do also have windows and bios tweaks so they're telling us to actually enable xmp in bios so other stuff they're telling us to use is msi mode utility 
that basically switches your GPU to MSI mode. Never ever heard of that, but let's go ahead and click on that. And it literally just brought us to an error page. So, so far, ChatGPT, not too reliable. The next thing they have is advanced FPS boost, basically telling us to once again, download either Win 11 or Atlas OS. And I might honestly just download this just to show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just risk my PC just for this video. ChatGPT gives me some virus or whatever. I might be cooked, but. Okay, so here we have the Win Windows 11 application chat GBT told us to actually download and honestly this application is like really really broken but let's go ahead and quickly look at what it can actually do there's just so many problems with this application I'm not sure if it can even help us at all but something I do see from this application is that it actually allows us to remove like junk apps so this thing is kind of like a PC cleaner inside of the application so I guess we can go ahead and just press on all of these and just move them all to the recycle bin and then just empty the bin from there, which is pretty cool. Just allows us to quickly uninstall all these random stuff I have on this PC. Probably all these default stuff that already comes with Windows. And then from there, there's literally like not much else you could do with this application. So let's go ahead and just exit out. Okay, so literally mid recording, I'm not sure if ChatGPT got like an update, something like that. But ChatGPT now says it's introducing GPT-5. And like, obviously you guys can see like the background change and everything. So maybe ChatGPT just got a upgrade. So let's go ahead and ask it in some new questions. Let's first start off by optimize my gaming PC for specifically, I can't freaking spell Fortnite so I can run at 500 FPS. Let's see what it actually says. Okay, it says if you're chasing 500 FPS, you'll need to treat your system like a race car. Okay, so first thing they're actually telling us to do is just like lower the resolution, which I honestly could try, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the native resolution. And it obviously just gives us like a bunch of other Fortnite settings that are in game, which I should already have it at. But the next thing is for its NVIDIA control panel. But I literally already did everything with NVIDIA and its control panel tweaks. So so we should go ahead and just skip over this. And then next up is Windows optimization. Obviously, I already did all this stuff as well. But something new I see is Fortnite config file tuning. And they're basically just telling us to tweak with the game user settings. And since this PC is fully reset, so let's go ahead and go into our game user settings. Since obviously optimized game user setting is really crucial for like better performance. And it basically just tells us to force low meshes, low textures, and disabling extra effects. So I have show grass on false, motion blur on false and that's basically it for like your textures and meshes that i'm gonna change but next up is keeping your gpu drivers updated i do have that i literally just updated the drivers and everything else i already done before so let me go ahead and ask ChatGPT for at least some system tweaks or something like that where it goes deeply into your windows pc i'm gonna say give me registry tweaks for my pc for fortnite and yeah this is what we basically need we need a literally edit like the gpu priority all those stuff inside of our registry tweaks so press on windows and r and type in reg edit and yeah here it is we have registry editor opened up and we're gonna go ahead and just copy this first line of command from ChatGPT and just paste it right over there and right here they want us to tweak with the system responsiveness so it's right over here in the reg d word press on that and basically you guys want to set the value to zero so let's go ahead and do that press ok next up is this command right over here once again i'm gonna go ahead and paste it into the registry editor press ok so first thing is the gpu priority set that at eight press ok next thing is the priority priority let's go ahead and set that at six scheduling category have it at high and an sfio priority have that at high as well so i guess all that is just to reduce the input delay now we're moving on to lowering the network latency let's go ahead and copy this line of command as well and just paste it once again into registry editor and it looks like we need to actually create new d word values of both tcp no delay and tcp ac frequency tcp ac k and and then we go ahead and set that value at one. And then the next D word we're creating is TCP no delay, setting that one at one as well. All right, next up is disabling full screen optimizations globally. Go ahead and copy that once again, paste the line of command. And first off, we're gonna change the FSE behavior mode. We're gonna go ahead and set that at two, change the honor user behavior mode to one, EXGI honor, and then the FSE behavior to two. All right, next 
next up is right over here navigating to another line of command and they literally just want us to delete all the sub keys i honestly don't know what this is but we're gonna go ahead and trust chat gbt for this completely deleting this children file let's go ahead and delete all that all right next up is favoring high performance for fortnite so this should be just your power throttling go ahead and paste that yeah you want to go ahead and set the power throttling off to one and then next up is faster timer resolution and it says windows sometimes uses a slower system clock for power saving so we're gonna go ahead and set it at a faster speed i guess so we're gonna go ahead and first create a new d word value which is global and then we're gonna set the value of that at one pretty easy we just literally use all these registry editor tweaks from chat gbt that was definitely a lot of stuff so it should help with the performance and now they're basically just telling us to restart our pc so we're gonna go ahead and do that taking a look at the max fps my pc can get after fully being optimized by chat gbt although it's not back to its original state of 800 fps you guys can see it definitely did increase a lot we're getting about 640 to sometimes even 700 fps and obviously you guys will see an increase in your performance if you guys like factory reset your pc but even after factory resetting my pc i was only getting about 500 FPS. So I guess ChatGPT increased my FPS about 150 to sometimes even 200 FPS. I mean, the performance is definitely a lot more consistent. At least we're getting about like 540 FPS as I'm building. And it also does feel like I got lower input delay and like literally less latency. I actually don't remember the last time the game felt this good. It almost feels like I'm playing on a brand new, fresh gaming PC, but this thing is literally like two years old and it's like collecting dust like crazy. You guys could probably also hear the fans are kind of pretty loud since this pc should have like some overheating issues by now but yeah the pc definitely is so much better now even like some simple tweaks from chat gbt like we clean up this pc and it just frees up a lot of ram i mean this pc is just cleaned up and like the performance is just a lot better we're gonna have to see how much more consistent it is in an actual game since previously in an actual game sometimes i could even run a consistent 240 fps so it could even match like the refresh rate on my monitor and now taking a look at the max fps in an actual game you you guys can see we're actually getting about 280 to 300 fps so it's already a lot more consistent compared to what we previously got since sometimes i couldn't even run a consistent 240 fps and also since the new season i am using legacy performance mode i honestly don't know much about it but i think it's just as good as like the regular performance mode so i'm gonna go ahead and just test that out but yeah already landing in we're getting about like 380 to 450 freaking fps what okay bro what Five, 500 FPS now. Yo, what? The performance on this PC definitely got better. Like, definitely got better. I'm not even lying, bro. Even though, like, ChatGBT didn't really do much, like, crazy tweaks, we're actually running about, like, 380 to 450 FPS. Oh, my. And this is coming from previously where I barely couldn't even run a 240 FPS. Like sometimes I was like 270, but most of the times it was about like 250 FPS or so. Right now I'm literally running close to like 500 FPS in an actual game. And like I said, obviously it's not fully just because of chat GBT optimizations, but also because I factory reset my PC, which like got rid of all the junk and stuff. But still the performance on this PC definitely got a lot, lot better. It's getting closer to what I got after I actually built this PC. I don't even remember the last time this PC ran above like a consistent 360 FPS. But something that I did notice is the fan noise on the Oh, what the Oh. The fan noise on this PC definitely got a little bit louder though. I'm not going to lie. 40. No, my gun. 200. Yeah, I feel like the fan noise definitely got louder on this PC, but the delay on this PC definitely got lower though. Like I'm getting lower input delay for sure. Crack. Crack. Bro. There we go, bro. There we freaking go. Yeah, I feel like that literally got less delay as well because this thing is running really, really smooth. And also optimizing with ChatGBT is like really, really convenient. It literally just tells you what to do on the spot in like a list. So it's not like really complicated where you have to watch like a YouTube tutorial or anything where they speak for like six hours straight. I see him. I see him. 13. Crack. 
200? Yeah, but I mean, the game just feels so much more like responsive too. Like it's crazy, bro. Two hundred? Oh my, there's someone else. There's someone else. You can't take that. No, no. Take that. Take that. Take that. Full box. Crack. Two hundred. Yeah, I mean, the game is just so much smoother on this PC now. It's literally so much smoother. It's running closer to a consistent 400 FPS too, which is like really, really crazy. Hello there. 200. Where'd it go? Okay. Forty. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Two hundred. Perfect. Two hundred. Oh. Oh. Like, bro. Like, oh my, bro. We're literally running consistent four fifty FPS. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running, keep running, keep running. I'm chasing, I'm chasing, I'm chasing. Ready? Die, 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 die. There we go, there we go. Right, 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 right. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're literally running a consistent 500 FPS. Okay. Oh my god, bro. This PC actually upgraded. I'm actually going wild on this PC now. Let's go, bro. GG's.